What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. You're back out of the game, coming at you with another Summoner's War video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about four different ways that you guys can amplify your damage to bring you guys some crazy DPS in your next siege battle. So again, fam, as always, we want to take a quick second here to give you guys a shout out for clicking on this video. And if you guys enjoyed this educational content, y'all know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, hit the notification bell so you guys know when the next video drops. Now, before we get into this video, I wanted to go ahead and talk about why I'm making this video, because uh, ironically enough, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I am the tower person when it comes to the siege battle. So at the end of the day, I need to figure out what I can do to help support my team. So naturally, I've been looking at a couple of units out there to provide either buffs or debuffs that can amplify the damage. Uh, and so I was like, okay, well, let's, you know what? I, I just want to go ahead and talk about it just in case somebody out there, you know, didn't realize it and, you know, can utilize it, uh, for some different PVE content. So again, fam, we're going to be talking about a mixture of P like, you know, you know, pay to win yeah, and free to play units out there. Like not everybody's going to have every single unit out there, but there always is going to be an option for the free to play community that I can guarantee you. Okay. So first and foremost here, uh, I want to go ahead and start out with a, uh, free to play unit. And that's going to be one of the more popular units out there that really, really got a lot of love. Um, you know, initially when the game, you know, came out here, I'm going to talk about Naomi. And the reason why I want to talk about Naomi is that um, when we take a look at this particular unit, right, we already know the uh, damage that this one can bring to the table, right? Everyone's, you know, take a look at it like, oh, you know what? This can really bring some numbers here if you're looking to get some quick clears on whatever dungeons you're trying to do. But uh, one of the things that we constantly forget about, not really so much her ability to provide that crit rate and crit damage, but more so that second skill, the crit damage taken up. This is a, a debuff that can be put on a unit here to provide yourself an additional damage here. I mean, as you guys can see, um, this is one of those skills that if you happen to get yourself uh, the opportunity to stack this one up uh, by means of other units out there you may have, we got Genos, we got Croa, uh, we got this uh, unit right here, King, that I forget about this free to play. Um, you got, you know, quite a few ways to provide this, uh, get this one level here so you can get a, a decent amount of damage here. And the reason I want to bring, bring this up is not everyone's going to have every single unit, but obviously when you're bringing in, you know, you know, 12, 24 people out there, you have a, a wide variety of units on your guildmates on your team to go ahead and get yourself that level 10 stack here. And when we think about the amount of damage that this can prove 150 damage here, when it's capped out here, this is going to bring you guys a ton of damage to incorporate in your lineup if you choose to do so. I think that some, a lot of people uh, forget out there that you definitely want to bring uh, a wide variety of units. Not everyone's gonna have every single unit under the sun, but uh, if you can manage to bring in a couple of units out there and you know, make sure you have a nice balance of devos here, uh, make sure they not only stay on, but they're at max stacks here. I think it's gonna really, really help you out uh, down the road here. So that's the first debuff that we're gonna be talking about. I'm gonna move on to buffs here. And we're going to come on over to, uh, you know, you really can't say he's free to play. He's more pay to win, right? If, you, if you're looking at the plum, I want to talk about Wendy. And Wendy's actually a really, really fun one for me. He's one of those units out there that I kind of left by on the wayside because of the fact that I pulled Crow. And Crow, of course, as you guys saw uh, in the previous, like, kind of, you know, debuff showcase, he was one of the uh, couple of units out there that provides that crit damage taking, you know, up, you know, that debuff that it is. But this one here, Wendy has the buff that's going to be able to assist you here. And this one here is going to provide a crit damage buff up to nearby allies to improve the overall DPS that you do. So one of the things that I, I like about this unit is the fact that it is a buff, not a deal up here. So you don't have to rely on accuracy get the job, get, to get the job done. And this is without question, one of the units out there that, you know, can definitely pay dividends if you, uh, you know, build this one up and utilize it in your arsenal. Now I want to tell you this here, uh, my personal Wendy uh, again, this is one of the units that I utilize. This particular unit here is not a, uh, like one of my heavy artillery units that I have in the lineup here, because again, in my siege battle, I am focused on the towers per se, but essentially what I do is I go back and forth between the tower and then, you know, going on over to the middle to go ahead and provide that buff and then come back to get the tower. I kind of go back and forth, back and forth, essentially providing the buffs for the party here. Um, to, uh, you know, keep that, you know, keep those stacks up and provide as much damage as possible. So again, this is one of the things that I really would like to do because as you guys might have guessed here, um, there's really no, you know, really no thought process to it. You know, there's no, you know, trying to rely on trying to uh, get yourself a debuff in there. You just get up in there, provide the buff and get out and uh, get a job done. So if you got uh, any of your goodies out there that are one of the people out there that may be a little bit lower on the DPS soda pole and, or maybe they're just assigned to do the towers per se. I think this is actually a really, really good unit to utilize uh, for that. Not only for the sheer fact that you're getting the debuff up, uh, the, the, the buff up, sorry for the damage up, but also you got the multi hitting ability that's going to assist you with the towers here. Again, uh, multi hitting abilities for the towers is going to be pretty crucial here. So I want to point that out here. Um, so that if you guys are interested in that, you can go ahead and 
uh, take advantage of that, okay? So again, next uh, unit that I wanna focus on, I guess we're not really so much a unit per se, but just, you know, the overall ability is gonna be, it's gonna be damage taken up. And what I, I wanna look at, since we're talking about Siege, we gotta bring up, we gotta bring up Celia here because she's one of the few units out there that have it. But I wanna click on this damage taken up because uh, without question, um, this is essentially, this is like the branding per se, right? This is gonna be just the overall debuff here um, that's gonna generate you a good amount of damage, right? Um, but uh, I want to put it out there again, you know, Celia is free to play, but she's not well, easy obtainable until you get yourself in a guild. Um, but right now, if you're one of those people out there that do have one of the LD, uh, you know, tickets or whatnot that you can get, this is one of the free to play units that you can get. This is actually a unit that we talked about many, many times here. So again, I, I, I know I'm, 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 I'm wasting a lot of you guys' time because everybody knows about damage taken up and utilizing it, but there's gotta be somebody out there that's coming into this game, has that ticket out there. They're like, you know what? I got this LD, you know, three-star ticket. I got, who do I, who am I gonna use it for, okay? Without question, Helia is one of the top units to incorporate uh, for that specific ticket. Why, why is that? Because she provides the defense down and the damage taken up here. Again, a, a one-two combo to provide yourself a ton of different damage. And if you guys didn't know, this is one of those uh, units out there that provides uh, additional opportunities to uh, essentially land that de defense break and the damage taken up here um, if you, uh, if you utilize it. So this is a really, really good skill to use, uh, a really, really good unit to use. Obviously it's a dark unit, right? Uh, neutral element, but this is just one of those units out there that when you're a beginner in the game and you're looking to, you know, create some of those speed runs, uh, without question, it's one of the top units to utilize uh, in your arsenal, uh, if you have not done so already. Okay. Again, getting back into, uh, Celia per se, um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, let me, let me take a step back here. Uh, obviously all the units out here are, you know, obviously I, well, I've used Cilia, I've used, I don't have Crow per se, but you know, Helia is the kind of the number one unit to use, but getting back to it. Um, if you are, like I said, if you are fortunate enough to be in a guild or whatnot, this is going to be a fantastic unit to incorporate because this thing brings so much to the kit here. But again, for this particular video, we're focusing on the ways to improve the overall DPS per se. Not so much like the attack buffs and whatnot, but just over the overall buffs and debuffs that people kind of, uh, overlook sometimes. So I want to, like I said, I wanted to put it out there. Um, now again, uh, damage taken up. We've already talked about that, right? But one of the things that we forget about is this damage dealt up. And this is kind of unique, uh, when it comes to some of this for Chronicles, because there's only a handful of units that have this one here. But as far as free to play units go, Celia is the only one out there outside of the dark Frankenstein, which people are not really, you know, going out of the way to build. Um, but she's available for you guys, this Celia here. And uh, without question, this is going to be a really, really strong unit to use. So again, if you haven't seen this victorious war song here, if you, um, if you're basically, you get the damage dealt, uh, you get the damage dealt buff up. If I recall correctly, uh, if a team member defeats an enemy creature. So again, as you guys can imagine, there's a ton of content out there that has waves and waves of units that you can kill. Uh, I think more importantly, the infinite raid that recently came out here that uh, you can definitely take uh, full advantage of if you're looking to get a super high clear um, and uh, you know get yourself the uh, additional buff. And again, I mean, you can, you can, you can put it out there uh, for anything. Field bosses, I think this is a fantastic unit uh, for some of the field bosses out there that have those as that come into play. Um, again, you're gonna get a little bit of value out of that for the damage dealt up. Um, if you uh, if you get this one, you know, get this one triggered or whatnot here. So damage dealt up, just another way of providing some additional damage. Mind you, 50% damage, it doesn't seem all too much, but when we're talking about the damage dealt up, the crit damage taken up, the crit damage up, the, the yeah, the all, all, all four of those basically, um, we're talking, I think upwards of like 300 or so percentage damage, mind you, different multipliers, right? But overall, just a ton of damage out there that can be utilized uh, in your arsenal. Again, um, the reason why I wanted to put this video out uh, is essentially, you guys kind of already know um, that you got to bring a wide variety of debuffs here, but there's just certain debuffs, certain buffs, certain things that we generally overlook that we really don't realize are really valuable. And then in addition to that, you see somebody out there uh, like Topor Smith for Chronicles Farmer that utilize some unit out there that's just, you know, super unique, LD5, whatever like that, you know, super rare. But believe it or not, there are actually some free to play units out there that you can take advantage of right now if you haven't done so already. And like I said before, amplify that damage for your guilds and try to get yourself a, you know, a higher rank score. So anyways, fam, that's gonna be it for the video. I just wanted to touch base and again on those four main buffs slash debuffs here that can amplify your damage. Yes, attack buffs can bring that up. 
yes, you can, you know, you know, get a defense break on it. But again, I'm talking about those things, those skills, those abilities that, um, you know, are generally can be a little overlooked here, especially for the new players out there, the beginners out there um, that really don't have those units right from the get go. Take note on the ones that we talked about today. I guarantee you they're going to be helping you out to make PVE just that much more easier. Okay. So that's going to be a fam. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish, Childish Place checking out. Take care and we'll see you all in the next one.